Wow, this is turning out to be a lot more work than we thought. This siding here was underneath the uh, the ground by about a foot, foot and a half, folded up under the sod. So it's been really hard to yank it out of there. Luckily, we have a tractor for the fairgrounds, but it's uh, it's nailed top and bottom on two by fours, which are pretty well rotten away. But uh, the tin is not coming off easy. It's being mangled, which is fine. We're gonna throw it away anyway. But the uh, boy, it's a lot more work than I what I thought it would be. The tongue on this thing is up underneath here, and I, I need to bolt that back into place. And it's got four axles underneath it. <clears throat> and the biggest problem is we've only got four wheels, so we need four more. Ah, it's turning into a, quite a job, and uh, today is Saturday, the 16th, <clears throat> the guy wants to bring the new one out on Monday, I don't think we're going to be ready, we got still a little bit of stuff inside, most of it's out, but uh, trying to get this thing ready to go is not easy, and in a small town like this, nothing's open really on Sunday, it's Saturday, it, it's open till I think noon or something for the tire shop. It might be closed. I don't know Hopefully they'll have some uh, Trailer type rims. These are the the kind that have a big hole in the middle that just kind of bolt on <clears throat> They don't have the You know the lug nuts attached to the rim so Gotta get the The propane guy to come and unhook that. I think I could probably do it actually an electrician to turn off the power and cut the lines there and I don't know this right here is the main water line it has a shutoff valve I think all I have to do there is turn it off and unscrew it but it hasn't been a lot of fun <laughs> there's a quite a little bit of mess that's all the insulation along the siding that pile of tin over there is the siding well anyway Lots to do. Today is November 25th. We were able to come up with four more wheels. Two of them uh, look a little low. I hope they're holding air. This siding on here was a real pain to get out. Uh, the, the wheels were lowered down onto the ground, so I had to jack up the whole trailer, which wasn't easy to do. The weather so far is kind of holding, but I'm seeing some tiny little snowflakes right now. Uh, November 25th, which is tomorrow, the guy is supposed to be coming to take this out and take in, bring in the other one. And then we have to move back. So, <laughs> oh, it's not looking too promising to get my trap set anytime soon yet. And I have to undo the propane line, undo the water line, the power line, and the septic line, which shouldn't be a problem. I just hope the new one, everything lines up, and if it doesn't, I'm going to have to dig trenches and lay pipes in the ground for the septic and all that good stuff. So, it's going to be a little while yet, I'm afraid. That one wheel, it kind of worries me. That one looks a little low. It doesn't have to go very far. This one only has to go down the driveway here, about a hundred yards. And uh, they've put it up to for bid. Two people have bid on it. So with a little bit of luck, they'll come and get it right away and I won't have to deal with this. Well, anyhow, it's been it's been fun, boy, I'll tell you. A lot of work. We had to move Cindy's greenhouse back about four or five feet because it was in the way. And uh, so far the weather's been nice. If it'll just hold off for another week or maybe a little longer, it'd be great. But I don't know, the weather report kind of says it's not supposed to. We'll see. Hope you folks are having a good winter. See ya.